Well, hello, all you Allen Eagles, present, past, and future. Stacy Polk checking in from the Foundation for Allen Schools, and today I have with me Sonia Pitcock the principal of our largest middle school here in Allen yes. and we are going to take a walk in her shoes. Sounds middle great. school you guys. Middle school is my favorite. Here so we go. Today we're going to be walking at the beautiful Celebration Park which is right across from our campus. I think a lot of our students look out the windows in some of their classrooms and wish they were playing at the park <laughs> maybe instead of their math class or whatever <laughs> class every once in a while in those beautiful days but excited to get to walk with you today and, Absolutely. and talk about the foundation. Yeah, we're going to talk about all kinds of fun things. Great. All right. Well, let's let's head out. So, Sonia, you have been, tell me how long you've been with Allen ISD. I have been employed for Allen ISD for 24 years. Oh, my goodness. And you get a special pin at 25? 25, yes. I'm waiting on my 25. And I remember my first couple of years thinking, okay. who sticks around in the same place for 25 <laughs> years? Well, now I know ding, why. Ding, ding. I know why now, yes. So, um, no, I started here at Curtis. Actually, I started in Allen Subbing. I graduated okay. from college in December. Okay. And started subbing and basically worked every day at some <laughs> campus. And I got a call from... Um, Curtis actually and said can you come sub a ninth grade classroom and I was like well sure I need okay. the money. <laughs> so I did and had always thought I was going to be an elementary teacher and fell in love with middle school kids and that's where I've been for the last 24 years and so I taught here after I subbed that semester I got a job here okay um, taught seventh and eighth grade science for 10 years oh my goodness I love then, science <laughs> yes it's my favorite I still don't tell anyone but okay. I still that's my favorite classes to go into well I guess okay. this is on video so uh -oh. Uh -oh. uh oh busted Secrets out. Um, but no science is my love and so I um, I had a couple people that were like, you should think about administration. And so okay. a couple years I looked into that and finished that. And then a position came available actually here. And it just worked out where I moved into that role on the same campus. Wow. Uh, which was awesome because I love this campus. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'll just switch, yeah, my, why not? switch my role. <laughs> yes. And so I um, was an assistant principal for six years here. And then um, the principal before me retired. Okay. And so I just moved into that spot. And it's just been wonderful. It's been um it's you've got to see a lot of change, but you've also been able to provide a lot of continuity, probably, yes. too. Yes, lots of things that have changed. You know, Curtis used to be a very small school, and then it grew. we added ninth graders, and we had ninth graders here for several years, and so that was huge. And then we lost the ninth graders when the ninth grade center opened up, right. and then Erickson opened up, and then Lovejoy opened their um, middle school and high school, and so then it got back down to like about 500 students and you're like wow and I'm like where'd everybody go <laughs> um we are now back up to a very large campus yes you are so yeah lots of changes <laughs> over the years but you know what the one thing that hasn't changed is the community support for our schools and so that's always that's always been consistent and yeah so that's why I've never looked anywhere else I love <laughs> this community and so very um blessed to get to be at such a great school for so long so Hopefully and it'll be a few more years. And don't you have some, some kiddos of your own that are soon to be middle schoolers? I do, yes. I uh -oh. have three Olsen Otters. <laughs> oh, um, wonderful. So Luke and Leia are my sixth grade twins. Yes. And they will be here next year. They're already asking questions about, are, do we call you mom? Are you going to embarrass us? What are you going to do? And I'm like, well, you just never know. So It depends on the day. <laughs> and it depends so, on if you cleaned your room that right, morning. That's right. That's right. Do I need to make an announcement at lunch that you left your shoes in the living room floor again? You know, so it'll, they're, they're excited to come to Curtis. And it's so strange Absolutely. that they're going to be here with me. I'm excited about that. It so. really does go in a blink, doesn't yes, it? Yes, <laughs> it certainly does. And I think the middle school years go the fastest, personally, from my experience. Oh. It's it's like you you think oh here we go with this whole new adventure and then you blink and they're they're, they're, they're high in high school yes, <laughs> so yes it does go fast and we see that here as you know educators too the kids come and then they're gone it's like oh my gosh but it's it's good it's a good place so absolutely excited to be here for so long well tell me i mean people either think middle school that would be my jam or middle school <laughs> Ooh, i'm scared so do you have any like favorite middle school memories or not of your own but like being here at Curtis uh something funny that's happened or just oh are you stories kidding? after 24 <laughs> years of middle school I have lots of stories I bet some you of do. them shouldn't be told so okay okay my favorite thing about middle school kids in general is that they are just so um they're trying to figure out who they are and where they fit sure. and what they want to be and how they want to be and um they're just so interesting at this age and trying to figure lots of things out and so they're just looking for 
reassurance a lot of times you know they're yep. so um, kind of finding their place finding their place yeah, yeah. so finding some reassurance and it's such a huge um transition you know to life being, sure. being an adult moving into high school and so lots more responsibility on yes, their shoulders and trying to figure out how to how to handle all that how to navigate all that but no my my favorite memories is always the first day of school okay with seventh grade <laughs> kids because they come to um you know middle school and they get to walk to classes without a, being in a line and yes they can go whichever direction they want to go and they so probably look a little confused that they, first yes, day. Yes, sometimes, yes. <laughs> but the last day, I mean, the, la the end of the day yes. of the first day of school is always my favorite because when the bell rings and we, don't, we say, okay, see you tomorrow, yeah. they look at you like, what do we do? How do, yeah. we, what do we, where do we go? And so we're like, you just go home. You know, yeah. go the buses go, this way. Go to the bus. Know, go to this, and they're like, by ourselves? You know, like it's just <laughs> such a funny, you know, it's just such a transition because they've done seven years of... Um, this is the way. We're going out this door to go to this, you know, whatever, and it's just a different. So it's always funny. I love the first day of school um, for that. But there's so many more memories. I mean, sure, kids come back and share what they're doing now with us, and it's just exciting to watch kind how much reconnect. they change and connect. <laughs> and yeah, and it's so funny. Some of them will come back and apologize for middle school just in general <laughs> which like, has to feel a little happening. good sometimes yeah, like, like i don't know what's happening to me and i'm like i know it was happening to you and i knew you would grow out of it so it's all good yeah <laughs> oh no. that's wonderful i know uh i know it's gotta be hard to have them for that short period of time and then let them go but at the same time it's wonderful when they check back in it is yes <laughs> and we all love that the teachers love that so if any of you former Curtis Cougars out there, if you want to email your teacher and give them a memory or say hello, they would love that. You'll so. make their day. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, tell me some of the challenges. I mean, obviously this year we're all dealing with this pandemic. So many things have changed, but yet we are trying to still provide that excellent education. What are just some of the day-to-day -day challenges you're facing and how are you helping your staff through that? I, I would say the day-to-day challenges are the same as always okay. We're still trying to meet every kid's need and there's a lot of kids to meet you know yeah. it's just um, we want to make sure we're doing right for their academic you know growth and we want to make sure we support their social emotional and at this level in this age level there's so many things going on in their <laughs> yes. bodies you know absolutely and so there's a lot of things to consider relationships with friends relationships with um, fam there's a lot of things and yeah. so um, that even though that this year we have the pandemic and all the challenges that go with that. We really um, have the same challenges we always have, which is to meet the needs of our kids. And so, sure, that's I don't think that will ever change. Yeah, some, you know, kids are all different. It's universal. <laughs> yes, it is. And so, um, and our kids have really done a good job of adapting to how we're having to do school this year. It's sure. really been. Um, we were a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know how you wouldn't be. <laughs> know, but they have done a great job, and our parents have been so. Um, so supportive and so you know a part of the whole process of helping kids understand why we do the things we're doing and sure it's just been really great it's really it's, it's, it's lots, hard I mean, I'm not gonna lie it's been hard sure but it's been really great so yeah I mean I think I think when you face a year like this and then you eventually come out of it you you go okay we are stronger for that oh, you yes, know absolutely. so I can see your staff being closer and stronger and they having have. like we can do anything if we face yes, that <laughs> yes. yes for sure we have um one of the things we talked about is what have we learned and I think you had mentioned that too what we really learned that we're strong together and we are sure. a strong staff and we can do <laughs> what the impossible what it seemed we like can you do know, it. six months ago we're like what and um you know just relying on each other and sure. trusting each other and working as a team um and I and I'll tell you I think our teams have become stronger because of it you know we just, absolutely there's no one person can do all of the things that you need to do to teach virtual in person a mixed class of both you sure know, so it has taken um the all whole of us, village really, all of us working really strongly together and trusting each other and so we've just gotten even stronger as a team so oh, that's wonderful it's been yeah, there's always positives from any <laughs> negative right so absolutely there's definitely some of that that's happening too so. the silver lining is we've had a lot of time with our families yes, right yes. <laughs> we've had a, a lot of non-busy nights right uh you know Lots of time so. to talk and just connect and absolutely yeah for sure we are puzzle makers at our house now oh we, yes we were we weren't before but <laughs> we've always done puzzles but not we always we haven't always had the time to do them sure so we did a ton of puzzles yeah <laughs> for the time. it's like okay i need another puzzle yes, yes. anyone anyone uh -huh. no that's too funny so what what has really kind of kept you motivated this year um 
Well, honestly, I think the same the same thing that always motivates us is we, we want to serve kids. We want to make sure kids, um, you know, have get to learn and get to have an opportunity to grow. And and we, I, I love we 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 we're big. Um, family at Curtis, we like to play, and so we work hard, but we play hard and joke around sure. and laugh at each other and laugh at ourselves, and so um, I think that motivates, just continues to motivate us no matter what's going on. We want to make sure we got into this for a reason, and we want to keep doing that, and so the You're kids motivate focused us. focused on that reason. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's changed, even though we've had to do our work differently. Um, we're still motivated by coming to work and helping our kids be successful. So. Absolutely. Well, tell me, um, so let's talk about your staff a little. Okay. Um, obviously, we are the foundation. You all are one of the many staffs here in Allen ISD. Your staff has a really cool track record with the foundation. <laughs> yes. Y'all have been our biggest employee partner giver in first place for multiple years. <laughs> I don't want to say 10, but it may be plus 10. It's it's, it's been a while. It's yes. been a long while. <laughs> and uh, that's a good a good record that we are very, very happy to share with you guys. Thank you. But, I, we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, but why do you think you and the staff have really made the foundation and, um, you know, our organization something that you all have a heart for and see a value to give back to? Well, I'll tell you, I, it was, it's not me. It's, okay. it's our whole staff. And it started many years ago with the principal that, I, that came before me, Becky Kennedy. And so... Becky was all about um, coming together as partners and supporting okay. schools, supporting the community in order for the community to support the schools and have that <laughs> partnership. And so when she came, she changed a lot of things, but that was one of the big things was where are we giving and how are we contributing to our community that we, um, that we serve. And so um, the foundation was not very old actually back then. And so that was one of the big areas that she focused on and it just became um, kind of part of our culture of, we, sure. The foundation gave so much to our teachers as far as scholarships and grants Classroom back to grants, our cla sure. classrooms and their personal children's scholarships, you know, <laughs> as they get to be seniors. And so it is just that tradition has just continued to be part of who we are. Um, we also, that's a part of our interview process. We talk about the foundation. We talk about PTA um, in our interview process with the wow. applicants. And so that's just, we being, you know, we, we talk about that with the applicants about giving and where, how you how you wor working here the expectation is that we give back to our community and these are some ways that we do that and so sure. people know that coming in <laughs> when they, they, so some of them have said oh good you know and um taking jobs other other places but a lot of them like that's you know they'll say i've never been asked that in an interview question before but it, like i said it's just part of our culture and so people know when it's time to the october employee <laughs> campaign comes hey guys remember we talked about this and so it's just yeah. part of Part of what we do and part of who we are and so um it but it's truly been you know we're just continuing the the great things from the people that, that came before us in leadership and so um we're, we're excited for that free lunch <laughs> year, really and is. we are happy to bring it <laughs> but we know we we see the benefits of that too because all the grants that sure um, we write we, we a lot of those have been funded by the foundation and so we see that in the classroom absolutely uh, with our kids and so it's definitely a good partnership so. yeah no and trust me uh, from our staff perspective we don't raise all this money to sit on it every year it's given back mm -hmm. whether through student scholarships or classroom grants so it makes us so happy to read those requests to grant those requests and uh, it's kind of a blessing for us too. So good. Well, like like Miss Kennedy said, it's a you know we we support each other. It's That's a partnership, right. and so I don't That's think right. any any school or any organization outside of schools can work alone. You have to work together. Yep. So a spirit of giving is yes. always a good thing. Yes, <laughs> and we have a lot of uh, you know we we do the um, every other year we do um, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society uh, pennies for patients, and we do are, are just we have a lot of organizations on our campus that do a lot of service type thing sure and so it's it's um, well, that's something good for the kids to see too yeah it really is and uh, so understanding that a community is run through people's involvement mm -hmm. and caring and giving back is something that's so hard to instill but when they see it in the leadership mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and then get to be part of it I really think that's what builds that in yes. people yeah hard character trait to it is it is and our tracks classes this year it's something new that we're doing and they're doing more of that service type thing like right now they're working on some stockings to um 
with some little fun activities and things to with with notes and things to um, to nursing home. Uh, oh, I love that. People. And so we're we're really trying to work on that community involvement and, and connection service. absolutely and you will be a part of you are a part of the community and as an adult you will be part and where can you give and where can you contribute and so we're really trying to get kids to and this age that's not their first natural instinct to think about that so of course to help them, you know think about what's what's out there you know and sure so really and so that's been a um one of the goals for that class too is to the, the community service part so i love that to continue to grow that and um see where that goes sure well, I want to switch gears a little bit. We are out walking and we're almost to the pond with all these beautiful ducks and geese. Know, I'm going to This is the best Friday ever. I know. We're going to pan around and let them see this beautiful pond back here. We're having a good day and, yeah, and it's we ordered the rain the rain has stopped. The rain us. broke. We have excellent uh, weather. Let's head back this direction, okay. but Sounds perfect. as we walk, um, you know, one of the things we've had to pivot on, the Eagle Run is one of our biggest fundraisers and helps us give back those scholarships and yes. classroom grants and this year we have to do it virtually I know which is people go what does that mean well that means you can do it wherever you so choose and with whomever you so choose so um, I know your family Daniel who also works for the district yes you Sonia and all of your cute Olsen otters <laughs> <laughs> um, have been very involved I see you every year we almost always try to get a picture yes of the Pitcock family that's, that's tradition, you know. <laughs> it is <laughs> Even so those cold mornings <laughs> uh, and trust me some mornings it is very yes, cold yes. but uh you know how do you guys think y'all will participate this year and why would you encourage others to sign up even though it's going to be a little different you know i that's one of the things we've had a lot of different traditions this because of the way COVID is but the kids and, and daniel and i have talked about wanting to try to keep the same traditions even though it's going to look a little different so sure um We've tried to talk to a couple people in our neighborhood and tried to coordinate just walking our neighborhood on that day. Just yeah. to, uh, everybody's been out in the neighborhood anyway, you know, more more so than before. And so um, we're hoping to kind of coordinate that. If, if other families don't want to, you know, do it with us that early, we may do it a little later. But sure. we're definitely going to do something. And I You've think got just, five whole days to participate. Yes, so. I know. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> and so um, we got dogs this this summer, so we will be taking the dogs with us this I year. I think and that's so this, perfect. That's kind of unique this this year in this virtual setting you can bring your pets absolutely so normally a, it's a no-no because of the road closures and the police right. saying no but hey that's a, that's a plus you virtual can, race that's bring right. your dogs that's bring right. your <laughs> everybody can be there so um so that's something we're going to try to do because it's still you know we still want to be able to support the foundation and support the community and so um just like we've discovered this year with school it's going to look a little different yeah but we can still do it so absolutely. it's definitely something to um, not just, you know, skip because it's a unique year. It's definitely something to continue that tradition and continue to, um, you know, uh, con uh, contribute. So we're Absolutely. excited about doing that and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I can tell you there's a fun t-shirt. Oh, yes. And I can tell you, uh, you got five days to, to pick the best possible weather you want. So that's a good that's thing. That's nice. <laughs> yes. And I like to be able to pick your time slot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, for us sleeper inner people yes, like me. Yes. That early morning is not my favorite on a Saturday. But Absolutely. I'm excited about, you know, getting hey, we a can go at later. three in the afternoon that's if right. we want. That's right. <laughs> well, before we sign off, um, is there anything you would just love to share with the community about your life at Curtis or, you know, just a fun fact you want to share? Just anything that maybe people don't know? Um, sure. I... I am not only a um, employee of the district, but I graduated from Allen High School. Really? Yes, what I class? Did. Well, I don't want to say because then everybody will know my age. But class of '96. It was in the '90s. Okay. <laughs> no, my. Well, you might know my sister. I graduated in '92. Okay. Um, my sister Holly Knight graduated in '96. I Do you know Holly my Knight. Yes. And then of you, of course, know <laughs> Tiffany too. Then, right? Yes. <laughs> my other sister. Oh so my we goodness! Allen, we are Allenites, and so yes, you are being able to still be a part of the community and see, even though it's changed so much, um, still being able to be part of the community is really important to my family. My parents still live here, um, and so it's just you know it's just part of who we are. Yes. And so that's another reason we uh, continue to contribute and be a part of the community and just try to participate as much as we can. And even though we're a much bigger community, it's still important to have that community feel and that community it is. partnership. And so I feel like Allen has. Um, done a unique job of, of staying we've grown, connected, even though we've grown but and we've, bigger. We've, we've stayed small. That's too funny. You graduated with my sister. I, I mean, look look <laughs> here, people. We're learning things right here. 
Oh, that's funny. first reported. Yeah, I, I I always love meeting fellow alumni. Yes. Especially from kind of that '90s era because. Uh -huh. You remember when we had no restaurants. <laughs> oh yes, there was nothing here. <laughs> and when the west side was like, the west side? Nobody no, lives over there. What's over there? There's nothing over there. So, <laughs> Fields. We, we, we're going to have to talk off video yes. about some of this fun stuff. Well, my kids laugh because when we go by Curtis, I had some friends that used to live right um, off of Stacy. When there was nothing, you know, this park wasn't here. This sure. This wasn't here. There was nothing out here. And so I'd ride my bike from Greengate, which is what the neighborhood I lived in. Okay. All the way over there across the field, you know, to yep. go to my friend's <laughs> house. And my kids are like, what? You know, like it's just so. Mom. There was no sidewalk. There was no, you know. No. Nope. things. I'm like, nope, it was just a field. But that's how we got to our, you know. Absolutely. Our friends. So um, they laugh every time we come by here. They're like, this is where mom used to ride her bike. <laughs> it's just. But I love being able to share that kind of history yes. with my kids. and Yes, it's so fun. No, that's wonderful. Well, we want to thank you for spending some time with us today, for letting us walk a mile in the shoes of a middle school principal. <laughs> my pleasure. It's been nice to visit with you. And it is an exciting job to walk in, in my shoes, but also a very, um, very, very blessed to be able to do that. So absolutely I'm glad, to, glad to talk about it. Awesome. Well, we're signing off here from Celebration Park.